Hey, good morning to you. Jesus is Lord, and the Word works. The key is the power is in the Word. You know, we find out in Mark chapter 4, the sower sows the Word. Now, the Word is the incorruptible seed of the Word of God, and I am the sower. My heart is the soil. I sow that Word down there, and then, like it says over in the book of Acts, the Word grew mightily and prevailed. You see, there's not a whole lot of power how do I say this? And me trying to make it work. The power is in the word. This is what it says, Hebrews 4, 11? No, 4, 12? Yeah, 4, 12. For the word is alive and powerful. Now, I got a five-gallon can of gas sitting out there. I try to keep some on hand all the time in case we have some really bad weather and uh, lose the power. And I've got a generator, not enough to run the house, but I can get by on it. I, you know that... A gallon, five gallon can of uh, gas. I don't know. Uh, it smells different. Uh, it looks a little bit like orange Kool Aid sometimes. But you know, there's power in that. That's called, uh, uh, let's see, is that kinetic energy? We studied that when I was in high school and college. There's power there, but it has to be released. Well, when you run it in an engine or you pour it out and strike a match to it, you're releasing the power that's stored in the gasoline. Well, the power is in the Word of God. Let's just, I like to really deal with the thing on healing. You know, somebody says, well, you know, I'm sick and I don't know what I'm going to do. And the doctors have said it's incurable. Hey, I've had the doctors tell me that, that it was incurable. And that's been, you know, 12 years ago and I'm still here doing well. And I'm doing things they said I would never do because the power is not in me. And the power is not in the medication that the doctor gave me at the time. The power is in the word. He sent his word and healed them, Psalm 107, verse 20. And if you'll meditate on that and confess that, along with Matthew 8, 17, how Jesus bore your sicknesses and carried your diseases, and 1 Peter uh, 2, 24, by his stripes ye were healed, Psalm 103, forget not all of his benefits, who healeth all thy diseases. If you'll keep planting that seed, it'll grow. And the power is in the word so that when it grows up, it will produce a harvest. You don't have to try to figure out how it's going to produce a harvest. All you got to do is believe it. You know, I've been saying this for the last few days, and I want to say it again. Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. See, she couldn't make it happen. It was a miracle of God. I mean, the virgin birth of Jesus Christ was a miracle of God, but it took a person on the earth, get that? It took a young girl, Mary was her name, to believe it, and she received it, and she said, be it unto me according to thy word, and she had her miracle, greatest miracle of all time. Well, same thing is true with salvation. You get born again by believing what the preacher said. It might have been some evangelist on television, or it could have been in the church service, but you heard that, you believed that, you received that, you mixed faith with it to the best of your ability, and God's the one that worked the miracle. You cannot clean yourself up enough to get born again. Somebody says, well, I'm going to clean myself up and, you know, maybe God will have me. No, God so loved the world that he gave his only son. God loves you just like you are. And when you believe that and receive that and then confess it with your mouth and act on that, the power of the word comes in and your old heart is taken out and God puts in a brand new heart. And, and the next thing you know, you are born again by the spirit of God. Well, healing is like that. Well, how's God going to heal me? See, Mary said, how's this going to be? Well, how's God going to heal me? I don't know, but I know that word, if you meditate it long enough, will grow up, and one day you'll just get up out of that bed or whatever the problem may have been, and it'll go away, and healing has come because the power is in the word, and if you believe the word, the power is in the word to get the job done. So let me say it again. I've said it every way I know to say it. It's my job to believe it. It's the word's job to do the job. It's my job to believe it. It's God's job to work the miracle. Now, I'm believing God for several miracles in my life. Uh, you know, I'm, I, there's not a day goes by. I'm not exercising faith in some area of my life. The just shall live by faith, and I'm doing my part to live by faith. I'm believing God, uh, you know, that this program, that I can expand it to 30 minutes a day, and it goes all over the world. I mean, it already goes all over the world. I mean, there's, there's uh, you know, people watching it all over the world. But I'm, I want to do more for the kingdom. 
Um, I'm believing for places to go. I'm believing some, for, for some equipment to do a better job with. I'm believing God all the time. I'm believing God to live in divine health, live a long, long life like Psalm 91 says, and for my youth to be renewed like that of the eagle. I'm a very, very, very blessed man. Somebody said to me at the store today, I went to the store to get something. They said, well, how are you? I said, I'm blessed. They said, what do you mean you're blessed? I said, man, I still got all my hair. I got all my teeth. My wife still loves me. My kids love me. I'm a blessed man. But I'm believing God for more because the Bible says in Psalm 112, verse 15, I believe it is, that we should be on the increase. So every day of my life, I'm on the increase. I'm not ever going to downsize. I'm believing God for houses. That's a promise of God. I'm believing God to be totally, utterly redeemed from any kind of affliction or attack or, or, or trial of any kind because I'm translated into the kingdom of God's dear son, delivered out of the power of darkness, translated into the kingdom of his dear son. And Christ hath, past tense, redeemed me from the curse of the law. So I'm believing for more blessings. Blessed? Oh, yeah. Blessed? Oh, yeah, blessed. But I'm believing for more blessings, more benefits, no, more good things because my father is looking for somebody to bless. It might as well be me. Now, don't get mad. If I'm blessed and you're not, go in and get your rights. It belongs to you. But the power is in the word. All you got to do is believe it, and God's got to make it happen. So until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, remember all day, hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.